What's up everyone, welcome back to the Durbin Compound. So today I wanted to do a short quick video on how to run a sod cutter. So there are a lot of different models out there, but the concept is still all the same. So I recorded a little bit of audio just now outside. Uh, it was kind of, it was kind of crappy. Um, it, uh, it's, it's really hard to do videos in the wind and stuff like that, but um, I need a big a bigger sock on my on my microphone. So, uh, well, we we roll with the punches, and uh, I think the content is still good. I think it's uh, the concept is is still clear. Um, the machine is really really easy to operate. This is my first time actually operating a sod cutter. Um, once I figured out how to set the depth, which I'll show in the video, it was a piece of cake. It'll run right through whatever you need it to. Um, if you get hung up on a rock or something, it might it uh, might jar the machine, but all you have to do is manhandle it um, and basically follow it around the yard wherever you want to cut. Uh, I used it to go around um, my new landscaping. I did a, uh, a totally new uh, perimeter where I was going to put retaining wall block and make a flower bed. So I actually used the machine to draw the line of exactly where I wanted it to go. So it's very nice for that aspect of it. Um, I also used it to cut out a couple swaths where I had some crappy grass and I put some of that good sod back into that area there. So. Um, Currently, I'm getting rained out on the project, so that's just how it goes. It's Ohio, so uh, I will uh, roll in the footage and uh, we'll talk about it after we're done here. I think that um, I, I basically cover everything. Um, most of your sod cutting machines, um, I've seen two different versions, and they pretty much all have the same concept. Set the depth, uh, rock the machine forward uh, so that the plow can come down. Uh, you rock the machine back, and then once you start it up or engage the main clutch, all you need to worry about is if your, if your drive track is in position to go somewhere, if it's in gear, and if your plow is in gear. So I usually just start with the plow in gear so it's already vibrating, and then it sets it right down in the dirt for me, and I get up underneath the sod, and then once I have it sitting level, that's when I'll kick the lever to let it go forward and then basically just manhandle it. And then once you're done, you click the click the uh, clutch back and that's all that it is to, to, uh, to run the sod cutter. You don't need to be an expert. Don't be afraid of it, just get after it. Um, this is a real quick video. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it here. So, <laughs> so the one thing to, to worry about on this is this machine will rock forward and sit on the engine part. So forgive the audio here since it's outside, but one thing you need to do is, is uh, work this loose. There should be some kind of release no matter what machine you have. There should be a release here on the side. You can set your depth here on the gauge. I set this to one, um, which I think means two inches because I, I see one and then uh, being two. So I set mine to two. I tightened my, tightened my uh, stop down. You can tighten it wherever. Tighten it down and then let that sit there. So as you see from a side profile, that allows the blade to drop down in the ground. So you see how the blade drops down with that measurement. Once you've got it to the place where you want it, you can tighten this back up. So every time you stop and start or want to move this across the ground, you can see as this drops down, the blade will drop into the, into the sod. So one thing that you want to do is, if you're moving it around the yard, you want to move it back up to a top position. So every, every machine should have a clutch on it. This one has a clutch down here, so it has kind of a foot clutch that you need to kick up. What this foot clutch does is we'll start spinning the track on this thing. So it will not start until you flip this uh, arm on the, on the clutch to move the, move the track. So when I start this up and engage it with my main clutch, my master clutch, what the plow will start doing is vibrating. So it's a vibratory plow that goes underneath the sod. So as it starts vibrating, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it down into the ground and then I'm gonna rock the machine back so it's on its own and it's vibrating in the ground. At that point, what I'll do is I'll kick my clutch up so that the tracks start going. And then literally you just have to manhandle the machine after that. So uh, nothing more to it than that. Um, you just fire up your engine, make sure that your depth is set right. When you wanna to come to a stop, you just bring the clutch back and it stops vibrating. That's where you stop. So pretty simple operation. Um, now we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set it in the sod over here and I'm gonna take it for a path 
uh, so you can watch exactly what I'm doing. So I've already set the depth. What I'm gonna do is move the machine and I'm gonna get close to where I wanna be. So once again, this is manhandling the machine, trying to get it to where you need it to go. So once you get it to where you wanna go, we're gonna set it down. And then once I have it rocked back into position on the rear tire, that's when I'm gonna kick in the clutch and there she goes. And then when I wanna stop, I just pull on back on the clutch. So I have it disengaged. I'm gonna go ahead and start the machine up and uh, we'll get after it. like that easy to use now I hit a rock at the end so it set me a drawer a little bit but I was about to hit the post anyways so that's about it all right you can see how easy it is to uh, to rent one and make it happen um, so so don't be afraid of the project um, I wasn't I wasn't afraid I was a little nervous I was like ah, how does this work it took me about five minutes without an instruction manual to figure out uh, everything about it to where I could run it effectively and get it going. So real quick, short video. The number one thing is um, I, I don't, as long as you operate stuff uh, safely and smartly, you really don't have anything to worry about. Don't be afraid to rent a piece of equipment. Uh, if you have the means to get it to and from the house, it's easy. Um, I put the I put the sod cutter in the back of the Land Rover, so it fit right up in there. The guy at the rental place told me it would never fit, and I I told him, yeah, it, it will fit. I'll show you. So we put it back in the back of the truck, and and it's very manageable in a large SUV like that. So. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you subscribe for more. Uh, I'm trying to keep it down to more short videos. Um, I don't know how many people are watching my, my longer videos, but um, I, I'm trying to mix it up. So hope you like the short video. I will see you next time around.